I, I can never pick like a certain place to like actually film. Um, I can't. I, I can never figure out where I actually want to film. Um, it's actually uh, a 10.30 at night, so if my face looks like shit, I'm sorry. Um, I went through a hectic day, okay? I was shopping and I had to, I had to work. Um, usually I wouldn't film on Fridays, but I did. Just like a quick backstory, right? If you guys don't already know, I'm in TAFE. I actually go to TAFE. You do, if you don't know what TAFE is, please look it up. I'm not going to explain it. I'm at my final assessment. I'm at the brick. I'm at the, the final the final thread to, to winning my diploma. I have a crown to make for my queen because like the, the, the whole like point of the assignment is that the royalty uh, gets murdered and the queen has a crown. So a lot of the crap I bought, I actually already went through. I went to Bunnings, you know Bunnings Warehouse where low prices are just the beginning. Um, and I had to get spray paint and I got these three things. I got like an icy blue. If you really want to know where it came from, it came from Squirts. And so did this one. This, this one's just plain white. I have a story about this one, okay? <laughs> I went to the guy and I told the guy, hey, right, me and my mum went and I was like, yo, I want a spray that I can put over the blue that will make it sparkly or metallic or shiny that makes the blue look icy without it covering the blue and he goes yeah this will do and it says glitter clear sealer and I'm like yeah okay so it's clear it seals a project and it's got glitter in it when we get to the car I have uh, paint samples these two came out absolutely perfect it was white it was blue couldn't ask for any more I do this I shake the shit out of it and it comes out clear no glitter, just like I poured water. It was just clear. And I'm like, the fuck? Then I read the back. Glitter clear sealer provides additional protection for your sparkling glitter projects. I asked the men, I want a glitter spray, not something that protects glitter. I went to Priceline. And price was like a makeup store. It's got a bit of everything. The look I'm going, it's got a bit of blue. The skin's frosted. She's really cold. Um, and I needed to find a perfect blue. So my plan was, right, was that I get foundation. This is the Stay Matte by Rimmel London in colour 103 True Ivory. It's the mousse, you know, really nice. And my plan was to lighten the, the model's skin tone. Put powder on her so it's light. Like it's not white, but light, okay? And then frost some blue over it to make it look like she has frosted skin. Because she's cold. She lives on Mars, it's cold there, okay? And so I'm looking everywhere on Priceline trying to find blue. The closest I came was these two new by nature products. Is that annoying? Sorry. These are single shadows. I got two of them. This is the Natural Illusion Pressed Eyeshadow in 05 Wits Sunday. That's the colour. Can we see that? Can I do what all the other beauty gurus do like this? And then I bought this actual like full palette. This is the New by Nature Natural Wonders Eye Palette. I don't want to like blind you with the mirror, but like this is what it looks like. Oh my god, no, it smells like crayons. You know when like you were younger and you buy that big ass kit of crayons? Like, it's got like 104 colours, it comes like five sheets of paper. That's what it smells like. I spent around 50 save because everything was like half price. This time I went to Priceline. I went to the actual Priceline. I spent 139 I think. First thing was I got some lashes, some really dramatic lashes. These are Glam by Manicare, two pairs of Intense 31 Gwen lashes. Thank God it was two pairs because I can like stack them on top of each other so it's nice and thicker. I then got the NYX uh, Lingerie Gloss. It's just clear lip gloss. So this is a purple eyeshadow. I got three colours. This is the 18 Black as a Berry single eyeshadow from Essence. This is 23 Mermaid at Heart. This is 14 Purple Clouds. I then went to Rimmel. This is just a single eyeshadow too. This is in the colour 026. Zinc me. I then went to the, the Napoleon side of Priceline. I got two single eyeshadows. This one 
is chocolate ganache and this one is all that Shiraz. Then I also got the Napoleon Purtis Creator Holographic Palette. Looks a bit like this. And those are the I went to a shop in Australia called Lingcraft, which is like a craft uh, fabric shop. I used Lingcraft before when I bought all the lace for my face. And I bought a lot of things from there. This is for the crown. Now, um, with Lingcraft, I spent around 50 bucks, 60 bucks. I ended up buying 36 hot glue sticks um, because the majority of the crown is glue sticks. I got like pearls that are like cut in half. And then these little things, I'm not sure what they're called, but they're like circles, right? But in the middle, how I got ya? In the middle, they're like a pearl, but that little pearls around, but they're cut in half. Um, then I got all these flat, all these roses, white roses, roses with like little diamonds in the middle of them, plus just plain roses. I also got like resin frames, and then on the way to the checkout, I found big pearls. So I then went to an art and craft store. It's called Riot Art and Craft. Like the first thing I found was like these glass pearls. This Riot Art and Craft store, I spent like. $36 I think. I was a member so I got glitter glue for two bucks. Three for two. Bargain. Then I also got coarse glitter. This is like thick chunks of silver glitter. And then I just found a sort of gemstones. Small circles, big circles, small stars, big stars. And then I found silver leaf. Actual silver leaf. Someone told me about silver uh, gold leaf because I was using gold leaf when I was working with Bowie Wong. With gold leaf, the guy was like, Oh, it's so expensive and you gotta buy it online. And I'm like, Well, then what's the point in using gold leaf? And I wanted to buy gold leaf because I really liked gold leaf. So I'm like, Okay, but like I never actually got around to doing it. If I knew that a craft store near me had gold leaf, it had silver, bronze, and gold leaf. If I knew that the craft store next to me had gold leaf I would have done so many cool fucking makeup looks by now I also went to this Christmas store and I bought these like little hangers right they are not gonna hang from the crown I bought them two for four just for that I'm gonna get rid of all this and just use that so I spent like eight dollars buying all these just for the end part and then the shop also had this is literally just Big plastic diamonds. How much should I spend in the art shop? Oh, I spent 16 bucks. If you can believe it or not, I'm actually done. Oh, I'm not done. I bought a headband. I got it from Levisa for $11. Thing is, it's suede. Like, the black is suede. I don't know if hot glue will stick on suede. Which is fine. I'll just cut it off and then use the plastic that, that's underneath. But yes, thank you guys for tuning into the haul. Um, I won't do an outro because I'll move this video straight into my crown making. Bye for now. Bye.
Bands.